Hello friends, today I am going to talk about a kit which has been mentioned in many social platforms that it prevents heart attack. Friends, you should know that uh, this kit is only useful for patients who have a history of previous heart, history of heart attack, heart disease, family history of heart attack, diabetes, tobacco or alcohol or obesity. If any of this patient category have symptoms like chest pain, ghabra heart, sweating, then this uh, discomfort or uh, pain in jaw radiating from the arm, then they should suspect that they are getting a heart attack. In such scenario, they can take this medicine, following medicine, aspirin, at least 25 milligram, then clopidogrel, 300 milligram, and actinostatin, 80 milligram, or rosuvastatin, 40 milligram. A combination of these three, if taken, can help you to decrease the damage caused by heart attack and will help you to reach a medical center for further treatment. It does not prevent heart attack, but it is only useful for patients who have got heart attack to prevent the further damage which will be caused by heart attack. And when you reach the hospital, then your concerned doctor can treat you well with minimum damage to your heart. Now, along with this, you should also, I want to warn you three things. First of all, if you get a heart attack, these medicines can be taken only if patient is conscious oriented. If your patient is not conscious, he is uh, not oriented to time, place and person and he collapses, in that scenario, you should not give above medicine orally because it is going to cause harm by causing aspiration pneumonia. So, avoid giving oral medication to any patient who is unconscious. Also, in that scenario, you should call, start a CPR, call for help, call for ambulance and carry this patient to nearest hospital for further treatment. Please don't give these medicines to any patient who is unconscious. Second warning, if you are a patient of uh, gastric ulcer or brain hemorrhage, then this blood thinning agent can cause bleeding, GI bleeding or brain hemorrhage. So, patient with any of the above two history should not take this medicine without physician opinion. Third thing, if many patients after a heart attack, they get low BP and there are many uh, people talking that sor sorbitrate can be given sublingually. Yes, it is true. If you have an angina, you can take sublingually. But in an acute heart attack condition, if your BP is low and you take sorbitrate sublingually, then your BP will again fall down and you may cause more damage to heart. So, avoid taking this sorbitrate tablet sublingually in a patient with low BP. If you follow this three precaution, then the above medicine can help you minimize damage caused by heart attack. Friends, by this video, I am making you aware of goods and bad about this treatment. Please spread with your friends and family members. Thank you.